bills were found, and just last week, Mona PD broke up another casino setup inside a two-story house. Airlines say they expect cancellations and delays this weekend because of pilot fatigue. ABC's Gio Benitez says Southwest Airlines employees are exhausted in time for an uptick in travel because of holidays and spring break. Southwest saying weather and airspace delays led to fatigue in March and that calls from pilots too tired to fly are a result of the system working as designed. Benitez says Monday is said to be one of the busiest travel days. He says United Airlines has more than 400,000 passengers a day and Delta has nearly half a million. He also says the cost of tickets for domestic flights have gone up by 40% since January. And I teased this a little earlier with Dean. A Chihuahua in Florida is, is currently the oldest dog in the world. Guinness World Records has confirmed on Thursday Toby Keith the Chihuahua is 21 years and 66 days in human years. The Chihuahua's owner says Toby Keith was born in 2001. She says she adopted him from an animal shelter when he was a puppy. And she says that despite his age, he is a healthy boy. Now taking a look at KFI traffic, we've got a crash on the 5. Regina Hill is on the northbound side of the 5 at El Toro Road. It's a crash here with a big rig and an overturned car. They've had the three right lanes shut down. CHP now saying at least another 30 minutes on this closure. It's got you backed up really heavy. It's Malicia Parkway in orange on the 55 northbound to tell it to Lincoln. Two right lanes closed by Caltrans until around 7 o'clock this morning. And Caltrans wrapping up in Pomona as well. The eastbound side of the 10, Orange Grove to Indian Hill. Three right lanes there have been shut down. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert Bucky. Family owned Catalina Paints began as a uh, beloved neighborhood paint store in West LA back in 1966. Since then, Catalina has expanded to 15 beloved neighborhood locations and has become one of the largest distributors of Benjamin Moore paint, my favorite, in all of Southern California. They have amazing prices on uh, just about everything that you need uh, for all of your painting essentials. And now they are celebrating the grand opening of Catalina's new store in Studio City. That grand opening celebration happening, I believe, next weekend, April 22nd and 23rd. They're also celebrating the reopening of their store in Thousand Oaks. Catalina Paints is also giving away a brand new 2022 Chevy Colorado pickup truck to one lucky person. So, you can go online or get down to any Catalina Paint store to register for the Catalina Paint truck giveaway. And you might just be going home with a lot more than great paint. For details, go to CatalinaPaintStore.com. CatalinaPaintStore.com. Southland weather from KFI. Cloudy with some patchy drizzle this morning. Then it's going to be sunny by the afternoon. Honey, or excuse me, highs in the mid-60s to low-70s at the beaches. Mid-60s to low-70s in Metro LA and OC. Mid-60s to low-70s in the Inland Valleys. And upper 50s to upper 60s and windy in the Inland Empire. We need local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Brian Blue. Paid for by government.com. Have you heard? The United States Mint has issued the Morgan Silver Dollar for the first time in 100 years. Not only that, but they are also minted in 99.9% .9 pure silver for the first time ever in history. Coin experts are calling this an amazing opportunity for anyone that knows the enduring popularity of Morgan. But you must hurry. Only 175,000 legal tender silver dollars were issued. These Morgan Silver Dollars are brand new, bright and shiny legal tender coins minted by the iconic Philadelphia Mint. Just call 1-800-973-3091. 3091 and you are guaranteed a new 99.9% .9 pure silver Morgan dollar. The first time in history this has happened. But with limited quantities, you must call now to order. To learn more, call 1-800-973-3091. If you order now, you will receive a free collector bonus, a $25 value free with every order. Call 1-800-973-3091 now to secure your new Morgan silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-973-3091. The Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, guarantees equal access for the disabled as a constitutional right. The problem is, even though it's been the law of the land since 1990, most brick-and-mortar businesses and commercial properties and multi-unit dwellings are still not in full compliance. Now, what does that mean for you if you're an owner of one of those properties? Your property or place of business without a CASP certification is a lawsuit waiting to happen. And if you think, meh, yeah, it's not a big deal, you need to know California leads the country in ADA lawsuits. So what do you do? You call our core. Our core will identify your ADA deficiencies, show you the path to certification, the one that you need to minimize your exposure. 
get out in front of liability with ADA certification from Arcor. Call Arcor toll free at 866-613-2519. 866-613-2519 or go to adagurus.com. This is Jacob Amrani. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. It's crazy what's happening right now. They're taking over our desert. This is KSI reporter Blake Trolley. My two-part documentary, The Desert is Blue, will be available on 420. I'll take you to the front lines of the ongoing battle against California's vast illegal pot trade. The marijuana enforcement team is busier now that they've made marijuana legal recreationally. For more information, go to KSIAM640.com, keyword pot, or find it on the iHeartRadio app. live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. You are home with Dean Sharp, the House Whisperer. Good Saturday morning to you, my friends. Hey, uh, just to let you know, if you ever miss an episode of the program and uh, want to catch up or go back or re-listen or uh, just explore other categories that you may or may not have heard me uh, speak of in the past, uh, you just need to go as far as the House Whisperer podcast. Uh, you can find us on uh, the iHeartRadio app, of course, but also on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and a bunch of other places, wherever your favorite podcasts are found. Just search for Home with Dean Sharp, and guess what you're going to find? Me! You're going to find hundreds of episodes, uh, all arranged by topic about everything imaginable uh, regarding your home. Everything that we talk about all the time. Everything from design issues all the way down to the nitty and gritty of uh, the nuts and bolts of uh, how to keep your house working every week. Anyway, that's the House Whisperer podcast, Home with Dean Sharp. You'll find it. You'll love it. And uh, and you can listen anytime, day or night, uh, whatever works for you. All right. Before we return to our list of stuff that was uh, that makes you say, it was this way when we bought it, I'm sorry, uh, it's time to go to the phones, as promised. So uh, let's do that. Uh, let's talk to Mark. Mark, welcome home. Hey, Dean. This is Mark in Laguna Beach. I enjoy Good your morning, show sir. a lot. Thank you. Um, I have a house in Laguna Beach built in 1938 that's on a mild slope that uh, the cement is starting to produce an effervescence, I think it's called, uh, this powdery stuff on the cement. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. So it's getting really bad. I'm wondering what I can do about it. Gotcha. Well, you know what? I hope your house is effervescent, but the, the actual term is efflorescence, just so you know. Oh, okay. But effervescent, okay, you, know what? you know, effervescent is a, is a much better term, I would say. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Um, no, it's it's efflorescence, uh, and That's what it is, it's a it is not uh, for everybody who's listening. It is not your concrete dissolving uh, <laughs> or falling to bits. Uh, what it is is yeah, it's this white powdery substance that starts showing up on the side of concrete or retaining walls. Uh, any basically a piece of concrete or stone that has a. a, a soil surcharging the back side and as a result moisture is moving through because the uh, concrete is uh, a porous material and so is a lot of stone um, I wish it wasn't the case it, ideally it shouldn't be happening if everything is waterproof to the uh, maximum amount so that the uh, moisture can't get through the stone but especially older homes uh, when they were built and concrete was poured against hillsides or retaining walls or basement walls or what have you, uh, you know, in uh, previous years, uh, waterproofing was not taken as seriously and done as well. And it can just get old and break down uh, the old stuff as well. Today's waterproofing, uh, brilliant stuff. And uh, our anticipation is that it will outlast the house. Uh, but the old stuff is an issue. So what is it? Effler... <laughs> 
for, now you got me saying it. Efflorescence <laughs> is uh, moisture, it's water moving through the underside. And in the groundwater, there are minerals, mineral content. So we'll just call them salt uh, because that's what uh, you know the soils engineers call them. Uh, those minerals uh, with the water move through, they find the inside edge of the concrete and at which point the water evaporates into the air once it hits air. Uh, the water evaporates, leaving the mineral content behind on the surface, which makes that white, chalky stuff. It's, uh, you know, it's mineral salt. So, uh, what do you do to it? Well, unless you can get behind the wall and actually re-waterproof, you're not going to shut it down entirely. However, if you can wait for the driest time of the year, uh, you could, after cleaning them off, uh, try and seal the concrete as much as possible with a penetrating sealer from the side that you've got access to. It will help. It will not shut it down 100%, but it will definitely slow it down in some ways. That's a penetrating sealer, not a surface sealer. You don't want that because this stuff is coming from the other side, and it will push a surface sealer right off uh, the surface of the concrete. But a penetrating sealer, and you want to wait for the driest possible time of the year when the soil behind that wall is at its driest because, uh, you know, your concrete is like a sponge. And you can imagine it's not easy to get new liquid into an already wet sponge. So you want to dry it out as much as possible so the penetrating sealer will penetrate as deeply as possible into the concrete. And I usually recommend doing two or three uh, rounds of it, two or three coats, just in order to get the biggest effect. Again, it will not stop it permanently, but it'll slow it down significantly. And then as far as cleaning off uh, those minerals, uh, we have found that TSP, uh, trisodium phosphate, works uh, really, really well to clean minerals off the surface of concrete uh, that is experiencing efflorescence and sometimes effervescence. So, uh, Mark, thanks for the call, bud. Really good question. Uh, when we come back, uh, we'll take a couple of more calls. How about that? Sounds good. You're home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, Brian Baruman has been. Well, community activist Sweet Alice is holding her first ever Easter event in Watts, giving away Easter outfits to boys and girls. The Ukrainian Cultural Center in East Hollywood is holding a fundraiser all weekend with all of that money going to support medical services and aid in Ukraine. And 5,000 people are under evacuation orders from a deadly wildfire in a mountainous area of New Mexico. We're going to have a look at some trouble on the 101 next. You probably don't think about your water heater any more than I think about mine, which is zero times during the day. Except when something starts to go wrong and you are looking for some hot water and you get cold instead. If that's you, you're thinking about your water heater, you need to call Water Heaters Only. Water Heaters Only has been replacing water heaters and getting the job done right since 1968. When you need a new water heater, they're really the only ones you need to call because they are honest and reliable and they know everything there is to know about water heaters. Water Heaters Only has same-day service, the best products, the lowest prices around. For a limited time, you can get 0% interest on a new water heater for 12 months. So call the company that does Water Heaters Only. Visit waterheatersonly.com, get a new water heater with zero interest. Terms and conditions apply. That's waterheatersonly.com waterheatersonly.com Spring is in bloom. The garden experts at your local Armstrong Garden Centers are here to help you. Armstrong has the most California certified nursery professionals to help you choose the right flowers and shrubs for your garden. Armstrong Garden Centers, taking the guesswork out of gardening. SoCal Weather from Driveway.com. Some patchy drizzle this morning with some low clouds and it's going to be sunny though by the afternoon. This report brought to you by Armstrong Garden Centers. Now taking a look at KFI traffic, we've got some road work on the 101. In the Sherman Oaks area, northbound side of the 101 between the 405 and Havenhurst. Couple of lanes taken away there by Caltrans, and that's got you back up starting around Van Nuys Boulevard. New crash in the Irwindale area, 605 northbound at Live Oak Road. Had to crash there in lanes. Not sure which lanes are blocked. CHC on their way to the scene here. We'll update you as we get more info. But it did, uh, we are seeing a backup already to lower Azusa Road. And the ongoing problem in Lake Forest, northbound side of the 5 at El Toro Road. Crash there in the three right lanes. An overturned car and a big rig involved. And you're back into Alicia. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert Kibucky.
This report is sponsored by San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Experience unforgettable wildlife encounters at Spring Safari. Only at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Upgrade your ticket to include Butterfly Jungle. Sponsored by Wheelhouse Credit Union. Visit sdzsafaripark.org for details. Andy's List is now Andy. Your home for everything home. With Andy, you could cross your next project off your to-do list before this ad is over. Just tell us what you need and we'll handle the rest. Sending a top pro to get it done. Or browse reviews, compare quotes from pros, and connect instantly. All for free. For everything from routine maintenance to a dream remodel. Because however you want your project done, we'll get it done. Download the app or go to Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com to get started. There, the rescue dog had very flaky skin, dropping a lot of fur, and the vet wanted to do steroid injections. I was at a dead end. B-I-N-O-B-I-T-E.com. Probably six weeks after we started using Dynabite, no more flaky skin. He doesn't scratch an itch. It was awesome. You get some Dynabite. How happy a dog will be. Every rescue dog in America deserves Dynabite for 90 days. B-I-N-O-B-I-T-E.com. Hey all, it's Dean Sharp. Are you looking to sell your home in 2022? Well, congratulations, that's a big deal. For most of us, it's the biggest deal of all. So let's make sure you get everything out of it that you can. Before you get ready to list, make sure you call the good folks at Revive. Revive's business is to maximize your home sale value. How? By guiding you through market-critical upgrades before you sell. It's like flipping your own home, except Revive fronts the cost and guarantees the results. Yeah. You heard me right. No money out of pocket and a higher selling price guarantee. You can list higher and sell faster in just a few short weeks. In fact, the average homeowner sees $160,000 in additional profit. This is a no-brainer. Revive has created an easy, stress-free way to maximize your greatest asset, your home. So are you thinking about selling? Well, you can settle or you can see what's possible. To get started, visit iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. Staples Print and Marketing Services help small businesses print big with wide format signs and banners. Right now, get $10 off custom printed signs, banners, and posters when you spend $50 or more. Offer ends by 28. Visit staples.com slash signage for details. This is your sign to print big at Staples. There's a lot of COVID info out there, but not all of it's true. So it's important to remember the facts. Do COVID-19 vaccines give people the virus? Nope, it's actually the opposite. Vaccines teach our cells how to fight COVID-19. And just like other vaccines, COVID-19 boosters help keep our immunity strong. Share the facts, not the virus. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. In 2022, where is your best chance at finding the appliances you need at the best price in stock and ready to deliver? WDC Kitchen and Bath Center. Go to WDCAppliances.com. WDCAppliances.com. No, Ma, don't go to all the trouble of painting and hiding eggs and then giving me a bunch of presents for Easter. I'll just take the cash. Hello? Hello? And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. Choo, choo, choo. Rapid Fire Friday. You can win $1,500 in free play playing slots with your rewards card. 1 to 8 p.m. Number four. Brian McKnight Live. April 23rd. Get your tickets now. Three. Easter special from the casino floor to the sky. Good Times Cafe, Fiesta Taco, and Cielo all have dining specials this Easter. And the number two. Easter freebie. Get a tote bag with handy Easter eggs on April 17th. And the number one reason. Dolly Parton gift giveaway. Get a butterfly serving bowl when you earn 500 points on your rewards card. The 18th and 19th. Morongo Casino is on spot. Morongo. Time. I know the weight of the world seems to rest on your shoulders, and sometimes life seems like it's filled only with confusion and chaos. But I assure you, I have a plan for you. The Jesus Christ Show, tomorrow morning at 6 on KMR AM to 40. More stimulating talk. Start the house whisper. 
Good night, I feel like Star Lord. Bye bye. That's a ga- Guardians of the Galaxy in the context. Good night, All right. We are uh, in the middle of uh, a weekend in which we're talking about the things that make you say, It was this way when we bought it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your house and how to fix them. We'll be getting back to that in just a bit. But now, as is our custom, we are in the midst of taking calls. So uh, let's go back to the phone. Kathy, welcome home. Oh, good morning, Sam. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I have a 1980s tract home, and I'm looking to upgrade my toilet. The shower and the things are done. So now I'm having a little problem because I just can't go to a showroom and flush toilet and see how I like it. So um, I'm... I'm <laughs> looking for something that's quiet, that's a little bit higher, like I had an older dad that had an issue with the really short toilets and things like that. I'd like to have them work correctly, but uh, do you have any words of this? So what's a smart way to shop for toilets? Wow, you know what? I I wish there were uh, showrooms out there that uh, actually had more toilets hooked up. Does Perch, Tina? I don't know that they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. You know, you know, call, you know, here's the thing. If you, if you want to see one in a showroom, potentially, a uh, Perch. Uh, Perch is a, uh, a uh, you know, kitchen and bath uh, design, uh, you know, center. And they are kind of famous for the fact that a lot of the stuff that they have on display is actually hooked up. I know faucets. Oh, okay. Sinks, okay. Uh, you know, ovens, things like that. They, they've gone out of their way to hook a lot of it up, but I don't know for certain that they've gone as far. I, I cannot remember whether there is actually a, uh, a toilet display on toilet flushing. I have a feeling not, but uh, here is the thing. Uh, yeah. this, is what, this is what I would advise you to. If you're looking for something as quiet as possible, I think that you probably want to be looking in the direction of a dual flush toilet. Uh, there are basically okay. there are basically two kinds of toilets being made these days uh, that are readily available. Um, one is uh, and then the the real noisy ones like the pressurized tanks. Those aren't around anymore. Uh, the uh, the ones that are being made are what we would call the standard American process, and I'm not going to get into like the anatomy of what makes it that, but the oh, kind okay. of the standard American toilet. Uh, then there are the dual flushes, which are based on a European design. The throat at the bottom of the drain is larger, and uh, the water rolls into the bowl uh, more quietly. And yet it still does okay. its job, and it does its job really well. So uh, take a look at, uh, at if, it's, if it's about silence and effectiveness, uh, then uh, take a look at a dual flush. Uh, toilet. That's okay. my best advice for you. They're all going to be low flow. Uh, they all have to be low flow by law these days. No oh, toilet is manufactured. Okay, yeah, no ma- no toilet is manufactured and sold in the United States legally that uh, does not meet the 1.6 gallon per flush maximum. Um, so uh, the the old high flow toilets that used to take three and a half or four gallons per flush, they they I mean they're still around, but you can't buy them. Uh, they're just in people's okay. homes. So everything is a low flow. It's a question of whether you kind of go the American style or the dual flush European style. Uh, and uh, you know what? It's a really good point. I think that you know there, we would benefit from some showrooms actually hooking some up and uh, having them on display instead of just tell you, you. You would go, you see all sorts of uh, displays when it comes to toilets like, look, here's 21 golf balls that this toilet will take down per foot. It's like, all right. Just just show me the toilet. Show me the thing working. I agree, Kathy. Uh, good luck with that. But uh, think in terms of, uh, I think, uh, for your bathroom, uh, the dual flush. All right. Uh, talk to, uh, is it Henderson? Henderson, welcome home. Yes, yes. I have a, I want to know how to repair a metal railing that I have outside lying in my driveway. It's in need of some repairs. Uh, it's the paint's flaking off, and I have one leg that has kind of broken off at the the base, the concrete, and I want to know if there's a way to extend that where I could drill it back in, drill a hole, and, and reattach it to the cement. 
Yeah, has it broken off because it's kind of rusted through? Yes. Yeah, kind of. It's really kind of typical for uh, metal, uh, or you know what we say, steel fencing outside uh, uh, a home. Older ones. Um, okay, so two questions there. Well, first of all, uh, on the actual uh, railing itself, there are there's a professional fix and there's kind of the DIY fix. The professional fix would actually be calling a, uh, a you know a, a a fence company, a metal fence company. And, uh, you know, they get these calls all the time saying, hey, uh, I've got one of my posts that uh, connects to the ground on the bracket. It's rusted through. And uh, the, what they should tell you is, yeah, we're just going to put a sleeve on it, uh, a, a, a size sleeve, and we're going to weld a new section and re-weld it to the base plate and reattach it through welding. Uh, I say that's the professional version because, you know, most DIYers wires are not certified welders. Uh, and so I'm assuming you probably aren't either, Henderson. Now, there there could be a, a, a DIY uh, fix for it that you know, we've seen work adequately. If it's not what we call one of the critical support posts, meaning it's not on the corner or the stiffness of the post doesn't really matter uh, as much as just the attachment, then uh, you might be able to figure out how to uh, go to the hardware store and get yourself like a nice uh, good a couple of L brackets, long L-shaped brackets that you can then put the brackets uh, high enough up on the post that uh, you're getting uh, your good contact with metal that isn't rusted through, and uh, and as a result you can drill through that post from one bracket to the other, two two L brackets on opposing sides, and uh, send a bolt through, a couple of bolts couple of bolts bolting the bracket to the post and then uh, you've got the opportunity to run some new bolts down into the concrete or even the old metal bracket or plate that's still sitting down there on the ground. Uh, that would be some uh, concrete expansion bolts or uh, if it's just the L bracket you might even be able to get metal uh, screws into that as well. But the idea is um, L brackets that you would then uh, put down and reattach it to the floor. Now, it's not going to make it as stiff as it used to be, but if it's one of the mid-span posts, it'll hold it down, reconnect it, and then you just paint all of that. Which brings us to your first question, which was the paint. Uh, real quickly, when it comes to flaking paint, there's a couple of different ways to go about it. But in general, you don't have to worry about taking all the paint off of a, uh, a metal fence like this. 